Okay, we're going for a bit of a ride today. I'm just at Adelaide lead, heading towards Avoca. Gonna meet up with the uh, Bike Bits crew at the uh, caravan park. They're all leaving, I think, at about 10. And uh, gonna do a better, I don't know, I think there was something about 140 kilometers up through the mountains fire tower, a lake and a few things up there. I've, I've been there before, I know where I'm going sort of thing. Uh, going to be a warm one, going to be in the low 30s I think today. Take a little Honda. I was going to take Tenere, but I thought, nah, it's going to be hot. I'll go for something light, or lighter, and uh, enjoy the day. Anyway, catch you at Avoca. Coming up to the caravan park now. See if we can spot anyone. Oh, golf course. Don't know. If there's somebody, we'll have a look, see what we can find. A couple of people here. Good turnout. I believe. Excellent. Here we are, we've hit the road. There's about 13 of us. Joe leading. Daniel at the rear. Got the corner marker system going. Check forward cars. Away we go. Is the new 450 RL all blinged up? Those. Ooh, a few nasty logs in here or roots if you're not ready for them. I'll give you a pinch flat in no time. Just too early in the day for that. This little track through here, if it's wet, like really wet, as you can see, it goes to a clog mire from one end to the other. All these little divots like I'm going through here end up uh, full of water. And it's like sand here, but gravel, it's weird.
least I didn't get it flat. But I think... the sound of a T7. They're awesome. Catch up to the next one. I think it's another T7. Yep. get everybody on camera today with a sideways action there we got a 790 or an 890 one of them ones pair of these ranges a few enduro bike tracks around here there's one there I think I might have to stop and uh, turn off my ABS with this looser on the corners you can't with no with the ABS on it's terrible what we got here we got a DR the outside here <laughs> what we got here uh, another DR is it I think so DRZ we got the one, little 150 KLX there
think we're catching up to Joe, which is on a, on a SWM, I believe. I bet you your blue line goes through that gate. Uh, yes. We go that way. Do you want me to show you the way through? This way? I'll show you the way through if you want. Yeah, it'll bring us out at the other end of this sort of thing. It's the only way through. Okay. It's the only way through. Okay. Where does that go? Uh, it doubles back. Okay. Yeah, but that's that's doable. Easy enough on all these bikes. Okay. Just take it easy. All right. So, uh, tell, just let them know, follow me that way. God, and the boys with the bigger bikes through. I went through a tight one, it was too skinny for the big bikes. This is Warramang. I reckon this is a fucking steep one. And it, there is a bit of a steepy in it. Gonna start hitting up that mountain there, I think, soon. Whoop. These bloody tree roots are nasty for giving you. If you weren't careful and you hit those too hard, you'll just pinch flat real bad. It'll be a bit of a challenge for the big bikes getting up here, I believe. I haven't been up here for a while, I can't remember how steep it actually is. There's a loud one on the bash plate. Big 790 here.
a good looking bike to 790s especially the side on and the back end the front's a bit how you're going but they're a good looking thing so this is a challenge for the big bikes here Bikes going everywhere. I'm not going to stop just there. Well, yeah, I got there. They're, they're already. They're all, I forgot why I didn't re route it. So if you go up that, tell the guys that we'll meet them at that, that road that we'll. Yeah, because they're already crashing their brains out just there. Right, yeah. So okay. Any of the guys that want to do it can go up it, the rest can turn around. Yep. And then we'll just meet you up on that. Up on the ridge line. Road. Yep. All right. They're going to meet us on the other ridge line. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's too much for the big bikes. Uh, hey? I wouldn't take them down that either. They go, ah, that's a house bike, yeah, it gets better. Yeah, we're pretty much up, I think. There's another little one, but we'll meet them over on the ridge line, so. Well, let's stop and get them up and let's up. Only some are coming up. The better riders. See, proper tyres on a T7. Proper tyres on a T7! <laughs> in a road now. We've had a flat tyre we had to fix, not me, somebody else. And uh, now we're back on the road to Teddington Riz. We had to do a bit of diverting because there was a bit of a gnarly hill, but turned out we ended up having to get the guys on the big bikes up there anyway, so. Because the other way was harder. But here we are, we're still going and we're at the top of the mountain, riding along the ridge line. I've got a T7 in front here, a black one. He's running some decent tyres make a huge difference on them. It's got a set of the Pirellis on it. Just trying not to get pinch flats through here. It's a little bit, uh, yeah, you can't really see them on camera but there's a lot of embedded rock. This little 300's doing a great job though with all these, all these big uphills and all that. It just powers up them. Eyes are down a little bit for the dust. Start to get in my eye sockets. Riding the T7 quite well. So we get some footage. We're going to watch out for a roost. Nosy on camera or not? Probably. I'll go around him on the outside. Go down here and catch up to Joe. Yeah, 
corre see the bike back then <laughs> some of them big rocks Ooh, dusty here with the camera wipe a couple of the old tracks there this is the easy way, there's an alleyway on the left there Coming up to Red Bank Gap That's where you come down, I think it's all overgrown now looking at that Not sure, I'll come in down here maybe Been a long time since I've been up here Oh yeah, that's where it comes in on my left there. Ooh, gnarly, gnarly, gnarly bit. Ooh. Oh, good day. But down. It's just a dam. Yeah, just it's only just over here before we get the track. Yeah. It's only, if you just keep going, the track's just over there. It's not far. Keep going. big rocks coming at me and there's the um, Red Bank Gap road going there as you can see it's actually a bit of steepness there, a bit rough but it's all good What's that? That's it where you got to go that way. This is easy now. Like that's red. That's Red Bank. Red Bank Gap. This is called. That just goes down the mountain. This one goes to Teddington, and that's centre track there. Centre road. But I'd keep moving if if you want. Yep. Into track, oh, better hang on to the handlebars, I guess. Water races here everywhere, it's all good fun. Let's try and get some people on camera, you can see them through the dust. So, this track actually just follows the, the mountain top ridge line. Mark in front there. Oh, he's got the DR in the air.
knows this track, I think, because he's been over here a few times. One of his geos are up here. It's called Eagle Peak or something. There's Joe in the distance out there. He's he'll, he'll put the wind up Cassie when we come up here the first time. But she powered on up. She did on a little 150 the first time. Stay out of this dust. What have we got in front of us now? DRZ, I think. Oof. It's hard to see here. we had and it's uh, still this dusty nuts better wipe that lens Whew. First time, that's a soft bottom on the front forks. I was asking a lot of them then, though. Not an enduro bike, you just hit these flat out and fly through the air and miss them all. somebody climbing that hill here maybe boys Open up, give it the beans. Overcook. Just a little bit. There's way too much back brake than not enough front. Well, that's better. Using that front brake a bit heavier.
guys were way out in front of me because I was waiting for so long to get to get some video of some blokes climbing one of the little hills to get some footage have a drink when I get to the bottom of this hill because I think we're about to go down down the hill down 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 all our prices are going down except for fuel food accommodation clothing pretty much everything I wonder if they'll change that ad or not maybe that's why they don't put it on TV anymore Nothing's gone down. Back on Centre Road now, coming from Teddington Reservoir. I'm out in front because I know where I'm going. Just taking it easy, putting along. There's a, there's a couple of little pinches there or climbs that the big bikes are going to be con. Oh, I thought it was a snake, but it's a. Oh. I was watching, look back at it, I see it, I thought it was a snake. You gotta look back and see it's not wrapped around your leg. Because that wouldn't be possibly wouldn't be a good thing. If there's somebody coming, I'm waiting, waiting. Oh well. The corner was marked and everybody should see it, so. I reckon I might have seen a glimpse of a headlight. Oh yeah, there we go. CRF 450's behind me. Fully farkled as they say it is. It's not bad at all. Fence line there. Back before it was a national park. People used to own all this. Run I don't know what they run on, it's sheep I guess, it wasn't really cow country. Oh no, can't really go much faster than this or I'll end up losing them. No corners, that doesn't matter. Bit of rocks there. Oh, 
GoPros flatten everything out so much. Oh, gone again. A dam down there is a WP water point for fire. Interesting. I want to catch you back. Doing some ups and downs now, a few water races. Regroup the people. Leap off that. On an enduro bike, you can just launch off them things. Especially if you're running uh, mooses or something, you don't have to worry about punches. Another hill. It's a tricky one for the big bikes, but if Cassie can do it, they can. She's a gun. Right up quite high here now. All the trees are dead from lightning strikes. Leap, leap rocks. Ooh, gnarly rocks. Rail the hill. Big climb coming up. First time I took Cassie here, she screamed all the way up. Got down the bottom and went, oh no, I've got to go up there. <laughs> it's pretty cool. She's only on a little 150 when she did that, I think. Good fun. Got to concentrate on those a bit though. You'll notice I don't talk. Cause if I talk, I'm a man. I can only do one thing at a time. So, <sighs> throttle clutch. Whew, that's confusing enough. Joe. Blue T7. Mark, black T7. Yeah. We're going to go that way. Just leaving Cameron's camp. We went in for a quick look. Kind of the main break. Scanning for those bloody deer. Because they're out here and they're big. I 
donkeys. Last time I seen them, they're right on that hill. Be a bit nuts if they're there again. to Avoca. Uh, what have we done? 174k since I left home. I've used 6.4 litres of fuel, so exactly a half a tank for 174 and a half k. That's pretty impressive fuel mileage, really. And that's been giving it the berries a little bit. And we're doing a bit of high speed highway as well. A bit of everything. It's great. Anyway.